All right, welcome back, guys. So, a um, couple things. Number one is I noticed my cars uh, don't have headlights, stop, start, and stuff like that. So I started build, with building a light array, so I can build. No, I don't want to do that. I want this button here, so that we can get the lights. So what I did is I built it this way, made like a thing like this. I need to like uh, so if you build lights with all the upgrades, it'll take four minutes, and we require four lights every minute. So we need sixteen of those light things. Let's try it again this time and see if it crashes. Two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, let's connect it all up. Actually, before we start making lights, let's uh, let's go through and set all these things to. And Elion is practicing new songs from the new Zelda game. So all she wants to do is play Zelda music all day long. Stop, please. And nope, that one I missed one, didn't I? Last one. All right, I think you get LED or xenon. I should have just done the first and the last then, huh? Oh well. Um, See how this works out. <laughs> no route to stockpile. Let's go ahead to the make lights department. And we're going to tell them to only use local lights. That's horns. I don't want horns. There we go. Oh, we need to. There, we need that. Let's also connect up. Like that, might as well connect this up too, right? What aren't going to do. That is burning through our cache right now.
There's probably better tessellation I could use. This one's probably not very effective. All right. Um, the last one. There's one more that I wanted to do. Uh, that's good. Yeah. Um, stop start engines. So that means we need to make motors, engines, and stuff like that. Um, engine, engines, engines. That's up here, isn't it? Fit roll cage. No, it's down here. Fit power train, fit radio. These guys require power train. So we have to build power trains. Takes four minutes to build one. How many do we need every minute? Probably just one. Yeah, just one. So we need to make four a minute. So make powertrain. Yeah, that guy's big. We need four of these somewhere. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. And then make starter and motors. These guys just require one starter motor, don't they? Transmission, engine control unit, what? I don't understand how this game works sometimes. <sighs> Requirements, what do they make? Where do you put the starters, man? Where where does the starters go? Make engine. Don't want that. Control units, huh? Probably should connect this up as well. See if it pulls it from up there. Looks like it is. All right, full throttle revenue, yay!
know where these things go. Oh, they go over here. Start, stop. Start, stop engine. Okay, this is okay. Let me see if I understand this here. Okay, this guy takes three minutes thirty seconds. Let's get four of them going. I assume you take one engine, yeah. Engine assembly, I see. Oh, the engine control units. Those are engine control units. Okay, so I need. Um, engine control units to all come from locally. Okay, so then we go down here to the engine assembly area and then we say powertrain only local. Powertrain only local. I wish I could have an infinite map with infinite space. I just don't like being constrained by space. You know? Okay, so now we need four of these make starter motors. Two. Three and one more. Four. Okay. Now we just connect everything up. Good. Have lots of cars in the lower the price even more. Now they should all have start stop engines. Using this one up here too. Yeah, I think I'll. This will probably be my last episode. I don't really see the point in replaying or what I'm going to do different. I mean, I could probably just. I don't know. It's it's too complicated to really optimize the resource distribution, make anything nice and neat, and uh, things have a speed at which they can render their junk. So um, I have to I have to make sure that I um, if I'm gonna have like a very optimized process that doesn't block on resources. Um, then I need to have like storehouses like right next door, like four of them, you know? These guys are not getting resources at all. Yeah, we're stuck on fit door panels, it looks like. But there's just so little room to play with, and you know? Maybe that'll help. Let's start using this one more.
But there's one up here we're not even using. A new loan. What's a percentage point? Six point two seven. I could pay this loan off if I wanted to. Prices keep rising. I need to make my own stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, an interesting yet complicated game, but this is it. I don't know what else you can do beyond this. You know? I guess I should walk through the factory before I shut it down and turn off the game here for the last time. So uh, the goal of this factory was obviously to make one car a minute. And so everything starts off here. Um, these guys take two and a half minutes. So I have three of them. And so we're basically turning out... We have four of them, actually. Yeah. They just feed down the line here. Axle, rear axle, drive shaft, undercarriage, fuel tank. And then from there, they all join together. You can see there's a nice backlock over here. They go over here, and then they go up here, and they go over here, and they go down here, and they split into one of these roll cage things. There's uh, three of them. They take, uh, let's see what they take. They take two minutes and 47 seconds. And then from there, they come down and they split two ways into the hood, which takes 151. So there's hood, hood. And then from there, they go this direction. Where they go up here. There's a big backlog here because this is this process is take not obviously not working at one a minute. It should be though. And here they start splitting off into the trunks. Um, trunk, bumper. And bumper, trunk, front, rear bumper. Okay, these guys take 252. There's three of them, and these guys are backed up here. They're going down here, and they're splitting into um, bottom trim, which takes uh, bottom trim takes 157. A front arch, rear arch, and vent, and there they split out in a very curious way to door panels two three four five door panels and even though the door panels even though the door panels take three minutes and I have five of them they're all blocked on resources they don't don't have enough resources and then from there they filter into windows two three four five windows then they do wing mirrors which are very fast two minutes we have two of them and so but this is this is the bottleneck is the door right here the doors and it's just getting resources up there fast enough then they shoot off and they go over here and they go down here and they go to the, one of these painters for the undercoats and then they go into one of these dry undercoats so they go up this direction and then they flow into and flow around and they come down here where they're lined up for one of the finish things then the dry the finish Blah, blah, blah. You can see they're almost all being used all the time. That's the very slow part. I have like 14 or 15 of those guys. Then I have four polishers. Then I have the powertrains. The powertrains, radiator, exhaust, wheels, tires, and brakes. These join together into two steering columns, but I could have kept it at three. But now they're going to go to four parallel rows of steering wheels. Now I have three of these. The lights, horn, seats, windscreen, Aircon, dashboard, and then it's off to electronics, throw in one of three, and then there's five QA stations, and then they get exported down here. 
That's one export over here, one export over here, and another export over here. The things that I'm manufacturing on the side are making windows because I thought that would make the window thing go faster. I think it does help a little bit. So servos and windows, a bunch of servos, um, and then over here a couple servos, and then a bunch of uh, lights because I want to use the most advanced lights. And then we have over here start, start engines, and that's it. That's my entire factory. You've had the grand tour. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. I, I really don't know if I'm going to play this again. Um, so hopefully I didn't ruin the game for you. But some things that would make the game more fun for me personally would be to have infinite space. Um, more control over the resource pipeline, like where things are coming in from and how often. And better control of like the storage rooms need to be able to eat and spit out faster. They're just, they're too slow. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care and bye-bye.